birthday haul video. Uh, it's my birthday soon. And Lurch asked me what did I want to do, go for a meal, whatever. And there was nothing in particular I wanted. So I've had several things for my semi green. Uh, this is a self healing cutting mat. For this size, A1, they tend to be around about £50. But I found one on eBay that was £12.79. And I thought, for that price, I'll order it, see what it's like. And I didn't think it's got markings on it. It has. Uh, it's exactly the same as the one that's lighter green with yellow lines. And it seems to be the same quality. Time will tell though. So that is an exceptionally good find. I also got wool pressing mats. This is 12 by 18, I think. And oh, let me see, we've got a tape measure there. Yep, 12 by 18. And with this company, if you buy one, you get a second half price. So although I didn't think I'd use it, I got a smaller one, which is basically 10 by 10. Um, but for four pound, that's what this one would work out at, at half the price. It's something like nine pounds, 50, something or other. But I thought better have two than one for four pounds isn't much. The next thing I got, owned it up just so we can see was it something for me or something for Lurch. Yes, this fabric. Now, I love this satin fabric. It's pound fabrics where I go an awful lot of mine from. And I think these, they were selling this at a pound a metre. And I think I've got five metres of it. So I could make a nice dressing gown if I wanted to. There's some of the, it's not as um, shiny as the satin, but it is crepe fabric. I bought quite a bit of this cotton touch polyester. It would do brilliant for the back of quilts. I also bought a load of this mint because I love this mint colour and they're selling it at a pound a metre. Uh, I bought some organza, white organza that I think I've got to use for and this is actually quite thin but pound a metre I wanted some yellow cotton for some projects I've got in mind this I just liked <laughs> And it's peacock feathers, and that is really nice. Quite a nice fabric that is. And I can't remember the prices of everything because there's a lot here. <laughs> oh. This fabric is red and sort of a plummy red. I've got some pink, orange, blue, it's all in this uh, cotton and I thought it would be brilliant for making quilts because I've used moustache, used a lot of moustache that was um, different coloured um, plain solid 
So I've got some navy, blue, brown, sort of a grey mint type thing. But these, I only think they were a couple of pound a meter, something like that. Green, blue. Yes, my shelves are going to be restocked. <laughs> This is lining fabric for when I make bags. There's some blender fabric and a brownie. Oh, it's glitter. Uh, green, grey, blue, grey. There's also a brown blender, a sort of mustard colour blender. red blender purple lilac <laughs> green light grey medium grey dark grey so that's a lot of blender fabric this is pretty cut, oh, cotton remnants. So, yeah, we'll see what we'll add. Oh, that's a bit of cotton. Ooh, so that will go well with what I've had. And I don't normally buy fat quarters, but I bought two of Christmas houses and Christmas fabric that would match. I can do some Christmas things. And that's it. So, I think I've got some more things coming. I'll go through them and video them when they arrive. The last few things for my birthday have arrived. This is a large bag of a roll of. Um, Wooden batting. I'm not going to open it now because um, I don't need it at this exact moment and it's compressed down quite well. So if I open it up, I won't be able to get back in the bag or down to this size. That's that out of the way. These are some molars. I bought some others uh, the other year and I bought some more. This is from Lisa Decor, and you can see the name Lisa Decor, and I think her rollers are brilliant, and they are exceptionally good value and price. So I suggest I leave a link in the bottom of this, and I suggest you go and have a look. But this is templates so I can do circular ones. I have got different things that I could jiggly pokery with but for the price of these things, all these rulers, it wasn't, I can't remember exactly how much it was now, it, it was below £100 for all these rulers. Uh, but as I say, that one's for doing a circular one. This is a triangular star, which will help me with a few other things. This is a small, it's about four and a half inch, but it gi it'll give me an exact, for doing a square and a square. This is the same as the first one, but larger. This will do me a larger circle. This is the same as that, but larger. This is to make a daily pattern. Mm, and I'm not, I wasn't sure about this till whether I'd ever use it. But as I say, 
the price of uh, hair rulers are exceptionally good. So I thought, why not? And um, this is templates of octagons for different sizes. So I can actually do an octagon. I can do um, a hexagon using the triangle of rulers I've got, but not an octagon. And this is just a straight ruler that's more or less as wide. What's it say? It doesn't say. It's more or less as wide as my longer ruler, but it isn't as long, so it isn't as awkward to use. So I thought, yep, I'll get one of those. So that's it for my birthday treats. Thank you. Bye. It's a perfect situation